This video tutorial will be about 3D sketches and 3D reference elements in Inventor Pro. Just an exercise. You could do this model completely without any 3D reference elements. So, first I start with a rectangle. 5 times 5. And make an extrusion. Five millimeters, so I got a cube which is five by five by five. I want to make a three D sketch, some lines, and definitely need some points. First point, let's remove this one, is on uh, five zero. Next one will be I, I, one. That's for the first line. For the second line, I will use two point zero four zero five and two point zero four five. finish this sketch so all the points and all the lines are in this 3d sketch and we want to have a plane through that line and that line here's the rock plane here's a 3d sketch now we'll make another 3d sketch again i need some points for my lines i want to have point on Take a look. We set the axis system. The point would be on zero five one. Now I can make a line from this point to that point. Another point. We set it. There's on x zero y two. Four, five. And the other one is on five, two point zero four, five. And again, the line from this point to that one. And finish the 3D sketch. Make a work plane from that line to that line. Now I want to split our body on these two planes, so I've got my basic model already. So I split, trim solid, take this plane, this node, in the direction in which the arrow shows the material will be removed. So apply, that's good. Next split tool would be this one. It's okay. So I got my basic model already. So next I need a plane. So I go for a plane with an offset. Offset should be from this one. That's one point eight. Okay. And then I need the D sketch and the point and this point should be one point eight zero and two point seven This normal to lane through 
point. That's the point. And that is the plane. Okay. And then I need a work point, and the work point should be an intersection of the plane serving so the line. This will be the surface of the plane, and that's the line. So I've got a work point. And I will make a hole or two holes on this work point. Okay, so I will make a hole. Simple one. On point. The point should be this one. And the direction should be the axis. So this is 1.01 and the depth should be distance and zero. Yes. Okay. And I need another hole again on the work point. And the direction should be the plane. There's one other hole, therefore I would make three planes. I want to get a work point by the intersection of three planes. Let's take a look what I need. First I would need uh, one plane with an offset, position plane, and that plane, and this plane, offset should be like a little plane. Okay, so I've got this plane. I know that the point is on this plane, and on is normal to that plane through that line. Let's take a look if it's possible. Point mid plane angle to plane around the edge. That's more like it. Normal to axis. The point normal to curve at point. So I try this one. First I need the line. That's the line. Now I need a reference plane, this would be that one. And so get a 90 degree. That's nice. Then I need an offset from plane on this one. And the offset would be 2.55 minus 2.55. point should be intersection of three planes of this plane, that plane and that plane. Maybe I should hide some of these planes. Let's 
this one. Take a look at this. This one is. So that's okay. Now we'll have to make a hole on this point. So the point, that's this work point, okay, and the direction should be this plane. Turn it around, make it distance, make this type, and the diameter should be. 2.5 the depth should be 2.5 this should be 1.25 and the diameter there should be 2.62 so looks good This plane as well. Change the view style to shaded with edges. Okay, maybe I should hide this one. Let's sketch. Looks nice, and I'm done. See you next time.